We have an obesity epidemic that is out of this world. We have environmental crises uh, caused by confined animal feeding operations, another large-scale factory-style farming. We have an over-reliance on processed and packaged foods that shipped all over the world, providing only minimal nutrition. And so the problems with our current, our conventional food system are very apparent. A lot of our kids are running into some weight problems very early in their lives and uh, pre-diabetic which is scary. Parents don't have a lot of money to buy lots of fruits and vegetables and they tend to spend their money um, for food in other ways. That They buy products that are more filling and also tend to be less healthy. A lot of them live in apartments. A lot of them live in yards that are dirt, hard dirt, and don't have an area for a garden. One of the reasons we started it is because we're concerned about what you eat because a lot of things you eat are not good for you. Sprouting Healthy Kids is our farm to school and food systems education project that includes locally grown foods in the school cafeterias, plus educational opportunities for the students through after school, hands-on gardening and cooking classes, and also food systems lessons that are incorporated during the school day into their core curriculum classes. Targeting parents and targeting the community environment is equally as important because they need to come home or be in a community that's still supportive of the changes they've made, otherwise they're not sustainable. One of the activities is called Plant a Recipe, where the kids look through our Happy Kitchen cookbook, pick out a recipe that they really like, and we provide the seeds for that recipe so that they can plant the ingredients for it in their garden, so that when all of the vegetables are ripe and ready to harvest, not only are they harvesting the vegetables, but they're harvesting the recipe, too. They take the recipe out, and they've got the instructions for how to put it together, and uh, then, of course, they, they eat it, and chances are they like it. This is asparagus. You can eat it raw, or you can cook it. The kids are very proud of their garden. They're very proud of what they produce. It goes past enthusiasm, it becomes part of them. This program is particularly important because it does provide locally grown produce into the schools so that at least these children are eating some fruits and vegetables at school because they may not be getting them at home. My garden kids have learned that healthy snacks are far more satisfying than a bag of chips. The components of the Sprouting Healthy Kids include a cafeteria component, classroom components, an after-school component, taste testing within the cafeteria, and then also farmers' visits. These are all kales, and they're just like drinking orange juice. When I take kids that have problems and have emotional difficulties and have horrible things going on at home, and you can get them out in the garden and get them dirty, and I'm getting dirty too, you make a connection that you would never, ever be able to make. What Sprouting Healthy Kids does is really change both the physical environment of the school and, and the social environment so the kids feel it's more acceptable to eat fruits and vegetables because everybody else is doing it. That's why I think it's an effective program. This one is Brussels It's been a godsend to this community. Our next step, of course, is a community garden across the street where everybody in the neighborhood can participate. The impact of this program that we would like to see on the whole community is a food secure community and a sustainable food system where there is economic and environmental and social sustainability built into every step of the food system from production through the marketing on into uh, preparation and consumption. It is so important that we work with our children through the Sprouting Healthy Kids program so that we can start teaching them when they're young how to make good food choices and give them the tools that they need to make those choices.